Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing with you guys one of my favorite summertime desserts, the classic fruit tart. And I'm loading mine with lots of fresh fruit and berries, making it with a crumbly shortbread crust, homemade lemon curd, and a cheesecake filling. I love all the amazing flavors in this tart. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. I'm going to start things off with my tart shell, which is super easy to make at home. I've measured out two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, which I'm going to add into my food processor. Just drop it all in. To that, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of white granulated sugar. And now I'm ready to add my butter. So I'm using 3 fourths cup of unsalted butter and I cube the butter beforehand and actually place it into the freezer because you want the butter to be really, really cold. I'm going to start dropping it in right on top of that flour. Cover this and then pulse this until that butter gets broken down into small crumbs. And now my last ingredient is what's really gonna bring this dough together. I'm going to be adding some cold heavy cream one tablespoon at a time. I'm gonna add about five to six tablespoons and pulse this after each addition and slowly but surely the dough is gonna to come together. And that is perfect. My dough is all done and I'm just going to empty it out right onto my tart tin. And I'm using an 11 inch pan today. I'm just going to use my hands to spread this dough all around before I start shaping it. And to really work the dough and create a beautiful crust, I like to use the palm of my hand and my fingertips to really press it down into the pan and make a really even crust. So before I place this into the refrigerator, I'm just gonna grab my fork and pierce it all over the bottom. And then this is gonna go straight into my refrigerator. You can even place it into the freezer. It needs to chill for about 30 minutes up to an hour. Meanwhile, we can get started on all of our delicious fillings. My first filling is going to be my homemade lemon curd, which is going to taste so great with all that fruit. So I've squeezed two thirds cup of fresh lemon juice and I'm actually going to strain it through a fine mesh strainer just to get rid of any seeds and pulp. To my lemon juice, I'm going to add one cup of white granulated sugar and I have two eggs and four egg yolks. I'm going to drop all that in. I'm going to grab my whisk and whisk this until it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take this mixture over to the stove top, cook it over a medium heat, stirring constantly until the mixture thickens into a custard. I've transferred my hot lemon custard into a bowl because I wanted you guys to see the consistency. It's really nice and thick, and if you get any clumps while you're cooking it, you could just strain it again. To this, I'm going to add eight tablespoons or half a cup of unsalted butter. Drop that in, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You wanna add the butter while it's still hot and then whisk it until that butter is completely melted. I'm going to cover my curd with some plastic wrap and you wanna drop it all the way to the bottom so it touches the curd. And I'm just gonna set this into the refrigerator and let it chill along with my tart crust. And once my crust is chilled, I placed it into an oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, baked it for about 25 minutes until the crust was golden brown around the edges. I'm gonna let this cool and meanwhile work on my cheesecake filling. For my cheesecake filling, I'll be using one and a half cups of heavy cream. And I just took it out of my refrigerator. You wanna make sure that it's icy cold. To that, I'll be adding about three fourths cup of white granulated sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk this all together on medium speed until I get soft peaks. At the soft peak stage, I'm going to add in my cream cheese. I'll be adding 12 ounces of whipped cream cheese and I've softened this at room temperature. You can also use a brick of regular cream cheese. All right, give this all a whisk until it's light and fluffy. My crust has cooled and now it's time to put our tart together. So what I love about these pans is the bottom actually lifts up just like that. And I'm just gonna carefully slide the shell onto my cake platter. I'm gonna pour it over my crust and just spread it evenly to the edges. Time to add our cheesecake filling. I'm just gonna drop it right on top and use a flat spatula to spread it to the edges. Mm -hmm. 
And now it's time to finish off the cake. So I have lots of different berries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries today. And I'm just going to drop them evenly across the top of my cake. and a few mint leaves to add a bright pop of green color. Just lift that up along with all the fruit and berries. Oh, I think I got everything. Oh, look at that, that just looks so good. And once you have your fruit tart all assembled, you wanna go ahead and place it into the refrigerator and allow it to chill for a couple hours before digging in and enjoying. Plus it'll be a little bit easier to cut. Now it's time to dig in and enjoy this. The fruit tart itself just looks so pretty. Mmm. This has to be one of the best fruit tarts ever. I love that crumbly shortbread crust. It kind of just crumbles into your mouth, combined with that sweet and tangy lemon curd, cheesecake filling, and who can beat all these fruit and berries on the top? If you guys have a get together coming up and you wanna make an impressive, easy summertime dessert, give my classic fruit tart a try and I guarantee you it's gonna be the first thing gone off of your dessert table. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.